obviously a, a great opportunity to play against, uh, for our team to play against the hottest uh, team in the country right now. You know, Alabama deservedly are ranked where they are. Um, tremendous team. Uh, we know it's going to take, we're going to give it everything we got. We're going to take a, a monumental effort for us to, uh, to go out there, but we're going to compete, we're going to fight in front of a great home crowd, and we're really excited about it. So that's about all I got. It's a, a run of one goal decisions yeah. for and some against, yeah. but uh, it's been it's been that way here lately. I, I know you probably expect another one tomorrow night in yeah. this conference. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, looking at the games recently, uh, you know, it's it's such a, the margins for error are so so close and so tight. Um, you know, I felt we uh, were unlucky in certain games to to probably lose by one goal, and you know, the other night it was a, a very even game. Um, Thankfully for us, there was one moment of brilliance that, that separated us from them. Um, amazing effort by the team to go to your rivals, having won the last two years without six starters, and go and compete there in front of our, their home crowd. Said everything you need to know about the character of this group, and it was a much needed win, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, yeah, it was close, but uh, Haley's moment of brilliance, and listen, Maggie fought like heck to give the chance. Um, so we, you know, last week we talked about how Auburn made one more play than us. This week we play, we made one more play than Ole Miss. Um, so hopefully going into tomorrow night, we can do the same thing. Do you think at this point um, you guys have started to feel, you know, the just like how grueling the SEC schedule is, um, you know, this late into the year? Absolutely, <laughs> feeling it every day. Um, Joking aside, you know, it's this time of year, well, earlier than that, you know, it's it, the mental and physical strain on, on the players becomes a lot. You know, I think we sometimes forget that they have a, a life, a busy life outside of soccer, particularly academics. You know, it's a stressful academic time of year. Um, you know, our team takes great pride in, in doing well in the classroom. So, you know, what these girls are putting in day in, day out is a testament to, to just their their mental toughness, you know, but it's 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 that time of the season, yeah, where everything aches, you know, every player's got a bump and bruise here or there, um, and you know, and that goes for the same for everybody. So now mentality really comes into it. Uh, when it comes to, or um, uh, I'm curious to to I guess ask some more stuff about Mac because. Um, she's really stepped up uh, in in wake of uh, of Maddie's injury and has yeah. done well in in, in net. Uh, when she was, you know, the the primary backup in the um, uh, you know for the majority of her time before these last few matches, how much did you see her really embrace that that backup keeper role? Yeah, it's interesting because I'll be perfectly honest. Her and Hannah Pimentel, um, you know, were fighting each other for the backup all the way through to the South Carolina game. You know, and that's a testament to both of their ability. Um, to really be neck and neck both have different strengths in different areas so you know we obviously went with Mac because we felt like uh, she had the skill sets required to, to step in for that game and you know obviously she took that opportunity and um, she's she's a confident young lady um, the girls are confident with uh, with her behind them um, so couldn't be proud of her I mean Ole Miss you know they throw the ball into the box however many times a game and you know she's got to organize her def defense for that and be ready to deal with different s situations inside the box so um, she's handled it all great so far and knock on wood may that continue against Alabama because Alabama I think has scored in every game but one mm -hmm. I think they've scored 20 SEC goals um, so Alabama are going to get shots tomorrow night and you know Mac's going to have to be the best version of herself tomorrow night and, and we're confident that she'll do that. What kind of mentality and personality does it take for someone to embrace a role like that? I think the biggest thing is you think about it, you're a field player, you might go on in different positions, you might be looked at in one, two, three different positions, you might go on for five minutes here or there to give somebody a rest. Goalkeeper, you know you're one play away but the change is probably not going to happen unless something unfortunate happens to the starting goalkeeper. So. It's, it's the mental toughness that's required and uh, the confidence and the optimism to, to go through each game knowing that you don't want something to happen to, to the starter, but if something did, you're ready, you know? And she's sat on the bench for, you know, two falls now. Obviously, she redshirted her freshman year and, you know, I think, was it five, five games left? She gets a, a moment that she's been waiting for and, you know, thankfully for us, she was ready for it. And what sort of conversations since that South Carolina game have you had with her about, you know, how to continue to 
uh, I guess, like, mature into the role of being the starter, get more comfortable with it. I know, obviously, she's, you know, she's she's more than comfortable with, you know, being the role of the backup, and I'm sure that she was more than prepared for it, and she's shown that. But yeah. um, what sort of conversations had you had with her since that point about, you know, just continuing to stay even keel? Yeah, it's a great question. I think it's finding that balancing act between not overwhelming her. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of information um, that you have to take on board um, once you get into that starting role. Um, you're reliant on her taking on lots of information prior to being the starter, right? But, you know, now it's, hey, this is what's going to happen. This player does this, this player does that. But you can't overwhelm her whereby she doesn't just play her own game. So a lot of what we've been talking to her is just specific details that she needs to know, but also remind her how proud we are of her. You know, like she's what she's done since she stepped in. The most important thing is we know she knows that we've got confidence in her. Her teammates have got confidence in her, and just telling her she's doing a great job and to continue the hard work. Alexa, just how'd you feel about getting that win over Ole Miss? It's always good to beat Ole Miss in any, yeah, whatever you play. Yeah, for sure. But uh, y'all needed a win just to get back on track, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. I think it was um, just a good feeling to kind of get us back on track, just like you said, and also. Um, just always good to, you know, beat the school up north. Um, definitely kind of something that put a little bit of fire back into the tank almost. Um, you know, when we did go through the rough patch, which we were expecting, like you're not going to go season perfect, but it definitely gave us more confidence going into the last three games for that final push. Not only is it a oh, good Yeah, uh, with how things have been going for you guys in the last few games, just what do you think went right in that game against Old Miss? Mm -hmm. Just what were you guys able to execute that you – maybe had it been able to execute games previous? Yeah, so the two previous games that we lost, you look at it, it was 1-0. Um, so it was almost like after we talked about it, it came down to like them making one more play than us almost, and then just like the small little details. So I feel like in the Ole Miss game, like we were the one to make one more play, but then also like the details, um, everybody was just switched on for the full 90. Like all the details were followed to a T and kind of like we followed the game plan just as um, the coaches said to. And uh, not only is it football, Alabama week for football, y'all got a big one with them tomorrow night. Yeah. And they just elevated number one in the country, I saw. So that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think it's just like a huge opportunity for us. Um, I don't think anybody's scared going into this game. I think we're looking at it more as like an opportunity to just kind of like uh, keep doing what we've been doing. Um, obviously, like this would be a huge win, um, make a name for ourselves, like as, you know, we have previously in the season. But just looking at it as like a big opportunity for us. Do you think with how this season has gone for you guys, this is a game that, you know, maybe in years previous, you guys might be a little bit more, you know, like nervous or frightened going into, but maybe this year it's kind of a different story. You guys have that uh, you know, extra brand of, uh, level of confidence kind of coming into it. Yeah, I think you look at it and I wouldn't say like we've ever been kind of scared to play a team, mm -hmm. but I think now, um, you know, we're so, we've used so many people that we know that anybody that's on the field at the time can step up to the plate and give us what we need, um, no matter who it is. So obviously, like, we do have some people out, but everybody else um, that's been called upon just has stepped up and um, kept the level the same or even higher than it was before. So definitely um, super excited for the opportunity on Thursday. And how big is that versatility to having, you know, a bunch of players that can step up and play when need be against a team like Alabama? Oh, I mean, I think it's like crazy. You know, you look at it and there isn't one person on the roster that, you know, I don't trust on the field. Um, we've talked about it and it's like the 11 that's on the field, no matter who it is, like we're taking that 11 over anybody in the country, you know? So we have a lot of confidence in every um, in everybody on the roster. So we're just happy that, you know, people are stepping up and putting in good minutes for us. So, um, you know, with how the game went against Ole Miss, what do you think went right on the attacking uh, end of things that allowed you guys to, you know, I know I know it was only a 1-0 uh, final score, but what do you think was better offensively and on the attacking side for you guys? Um, something that we talked a lot about um, this week at training and stuff was that we were going to go into this game with, like, a set game plan of what exactly we were going to do, and I think that – um, as far as our game plan went, we executed it just like we were supposed to, and that ended up really paying off in the end um, as we got the goal and won. So that was good. Yeah. Another opportunity tomorrow night. You know, Alabama's had a really good season. Uh, what's it going to take to to come out with a win on that one? <laughs> um, I think I think we um, are all really excited to play this game. Um, it's a big one for sure, and. I think we're all super pumped, and it's just going to take a lot of energy, hard work, just like we've been putting out the whole season. So it's 
just going to be another game. Have there been any alterations in the game plan that you guys have had maybe in the last few matches just with how things have gone? Or are you guys just trying to stay, you know, uh, you keep everything consistent and keep everything the same as it has been? So there's been a few changes in our game plans depending on who we're playing against and what their strengths are and what our strengths are. And um, I think for the most part, it stayed pretty consistent. Um, there's just been a few changes here and there, but this week is definitely one of those weeks where we know exactly what we're going into and we know what we're doing, and I'm really excited for it. And how exciting is it to play, you know, a team that's as highly ranked as Alabama? I know that, you know, you guys have played a number of teams on the on on your SEC schedule so far that have been good, but with Alabama specifically being as good as they've been this year, how exciting of a test is it for you guys? Um, I personally am really really excited about it. Uh, I could have never imagined younger me that I'd be playing in a game like this one against an amazing team with the amazing team that we have here. So I'm overall like really super excited about it and I can't wait to see how it goes. And a bunch of one go matches or run of those. Uh, some have gone for us, some have gone against us. I know every match is different, but tomorrow night could play out the same way, you think? <laughs> I think it absolutely could. It just uh, depends on whose favorite's in, and hopefully that'll end up being us. But we're going to give it all we got and see how it goes. Well, it had to be a good feeling for you to, to get that goal the other mm -hmm. night. It had been a little while for you, but yeah. you were uh, Johnny on the spot and got the one that mattered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just a really good feeling to beat uh, Ole Miss, and it was a total team effort the whole time. So. With, with how things have gone for you guys in recent games, what do you think went right in that game that allowed you guys to come out on top? I think we just really like worked hard the whole time. You know, we're a very hard working team, but against Ole Miss, it was like 90 minutes. All of us worked as hard as we could. Everyone gave 100% effort. So I think that's what made us win. Of course, with Alabama and, and their newly number one ranking, uh, the season they've had, it's gonna take a, a similar effort, if not more. <laughs> yes, I think we just have to keep playing like we played against uh, Arkansas and Ole Miss. I think those were two of our hardest working games. I think we can just keep doing what we're doing and play the way we play, not change our style for them, because I think we can beat them. So, With how you guys ended up playing against Ole Miss, um, how big do you think that that is in preparation for a game like Bama coming up this week? I mean, obviously, it's very important to get a win before Alabama, so we kind of have that like vibe, but I mean, it really doesn't matter about the game before, it just matters the next game. So, I mean, all of us are in good spirits. I think we're ready for it, so.